All right, here we are. Old Gamer Wayne, how's it going? Hey, I'm looking forward to our new headquarters getting finished. Yeah, they're working on it. They got it going, looking pretty good. Got our mining operation in full swing. Uh, so what we're going to do, talk about how do we mine on Evergreen Valley? How do we mine on Evergreen Valley? It's quite a few steps, so we're going to put together a how-to video. They're going to work on this. So I'm going to... We're gonna, so we're gonna head on out to the mine and let's check it out. We'll be right back with you. All right, here we are down here at the coal mine. You might hear me sometimes call it quarry. <laughs> down here at the coal mine, they got coal everywhere. They sure do. I like to call it the quarry. That's pretty cool. So you'd think we could just drive down here and get an excavator or a front or a backhoe or a front loader or something just get some coal and put it in our truck here I think we could just pull on the chute get some coal out I mean it looks like looks like coal's being mined out there but it's not letting us get any coal so this video is going to show how do we get resources out of the mine? How do we get resources out of the mines on Evergreen Valley? Here we go. Let's get with it. All right, we're going to drive up here coming up out of the coal mine. We're going to drive up here and buy the coal plant. You can buy the small coal plant or the large coal plant. Either one, whichever one you want to buy. We're going to buy this one just because it's over here by the quarry, over here by the coal mine. I keep calling it quarry. The game calls it the coal mine. Right. okay so in the front of this building it says lizard energy i think lizard energy show where it is on the map bro yes sir okay if i look on the map you can see this top right corner of the map i just changed some filters sorry about that Okay, so top right corner of the map, there's that mine right there. And then you can see right down here, and when you click on it, it actually says small coal plant. Now, this one down here, this is important too. You click on it, it says coal mine. That's why I like calling this the quarry, because when I click on this production chain here, it says coal mine. Okay, so we're going to buy this. Buy building, small coal plant for $150,000. That's a good buy right there. Yes, the building has been purchased. Okay, we own that. So that's a real good the, buy. That's a real good buy. Yes, sir. So the coal plant needs mineral coal. So we have to buy the coal mine. Wayne, can you show us where the coal mine's at? Can I show you? I mean, go to it or? Oh uh, yes, so I can't show you. Can't show you on the. Let's map. just go to it. Should we drive or yeah. walk? Uh, either way, we just walk to it. We just have to go south from here. I wish there was a compass on here. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Because when I'm walking by going by the mini map, I need to look and see if I'm going to the right place. Yeah, I think right I here, see bro. it. I yeah. think it's right yeah. over here where all these con egg looking things are at. It is. One way I remember this because of the overhang they have right here. I like this overhang. You go under here? Yes, sir. Uh, so right back here is where you drop off things, right? Yes, sir. And we're going to drop some very important things off there. A little bit later. So let's find old Gamer Wayne. Where'd he go? Right here behind you. Where'd you go? There you are. Right here. And this is the coal mine. So the coal plant needs mineral coal, so we need to buy the coal mine. We're investing some funds, but it's going to pay off. $450,000 for the coal mine. That's not even half a million. <laughs> so we bought that. Now the coal mine needs electric. So we're going to put in a fuel refinery mod, and there's one actually in the base game in the mod hub by Zotazok. So we're going to put that in. Now we've got to decide where we're going to put that fuel refinery mod. Well, let's look around and find a good place for it. All right, next. We're going to put the fuel refinery mod in. This fuel refinery is by uh, Zotazok, and it's in the mod hub on the base game. So what do you think, Wayne? What? How about we just put it right here? Yeah, I think that's a great idea, bro. Okay. 
So I'm going to go to construction. I'm going to go to construction. Go to landscape. I'm just going to level the ground right here in this area where I want to put it. So just level that across there. Make sure that's good and level. Still in construction, let's go to production. Factories. I'm going to scroll way over. There's a lot of different things in here. A lot of different buildings in here. So we're looking for the fuel refinery mod. Okay, so just look through your factories until you find the fuel refinery mod. About 125,000. Okay, fuel refinery mod. I'm going to turn it around like that right there. I want that on this side. And we're just going to we're just going to put it in right there about even with that other building. Okay, here we go. Fuel refinery. That looks nice, bro. Oh, thank you, Wayne. Hey, y'all, that went in really good. Yeah, it looks real good. Yeah, went in really good. Okay, next step. We want to set the electric to distributing. On our fuel refinery mod, we want to set the electric to distributing. What does this do if I open it? Okay, I could just open right there. For a fuel refinery, electric on the outgoing, we want to set that to distributing. So let's change the output mode. Distributing. Okay, on the fuel refinery. It says electric charge air. That only needs air and it produces electricity. We have a lot of incoming products that we could have there. On outgoing, we're just going to focus now on the electric. Electric charge, we're going to distribute it. All right, now we're going to activate it. It's running and it's going to be distributing. Okay, oh, let's go that. get the maintenance tools. Mining equipment, vehicle parts, and get them out to the coal mine. You want to ride with me, Wayne? Yes, sir. All right. Bobby. You go to the left, it goes to the mine, to the quarry. You go to the right, right here. Goes right here. Actually, this is called. Actually, this is called the coal mine. If you look at the map, it's going to bring you right over here. So uh, we need to go get some maintenance tools, mining equipment, and vehicle parts and bring them over here. So we'll go get those. Let me show you where we'll find them at. If you go to the shop, go to objects, pallets, go to pallets, go way over. There's a lot of things in here. A lot of things. Go way over to the right. Here's our mining equipment. So we need mining equipment. We need maintenance tools. So that's the yellow one and the blue one. And then we need vehicle parts. So let's find the vehicle parts. There's the vehicle parts right there. Okay, we're going to buy those and we'll be right back. Oh yeah, we're almost back. We have the... We have the maintenance tools in the blue container and the vehicle parts and the little crate. That's a lot of weight there. We got to go back. We got to go back and get the... Mining equipment, it wouldn't fit. It surprised me. I thought I was going to be able to get it all at once, but that's pretty big. That's a good load on this pickup. Yeah, it is. Plus, we have to go down the hill here and back up in there. 
right here at the coal mine. Can you see all right, bro? I was just raising the view better so I could see back there. All right. On back. All right. Now we got to get it unloaded. Well, we're here. Let me pull up and let those ramps down. All right. There went that one. Now all I got to do is get the vehicle parts down there. Oh, I lost it on the ramp, brother. Lost it on the ramp, y'all. Uh oh. There's some straps on that, like you said. Yeah, it'd be nice to have this strapped on those forks. That'd be a good little addition. So you just pull it up in there. Pull it up in there. It it. Puts it in there. Awesome. And you can go right here, and it shows we have 10,000 liters of maintenance tools and 2,000 liters of vehicle parts. So we could bring more over here, but for now, that's all we need. So now we need to get the mining equipment. Sir? So now we need to go get the mining equipment. Yes, sir. We'll be right back, y'all. We're going to go get the mining equipment. That's that big old yellow uh, container. It looks like a con egg. Be right back with y'all. Coming back in with the mining equipment. We got a load on here, y'all. Yeah, we do. I think I'm going to come in in third person. I didn't realize how big these were. I thought we could handle two, haul two of them. You thought we could haul two at one time? I kind of thought we could too, Wayne. If we had a trailer twice as long, I guess we could. Right. This is a pretty good trailer, even though it's a bumper pull. Hey, you're a pretty good backer-upper. I well, like a work. trailer. We got it there. Yes, sir. Why is it not taking it? There it, is. there it is. Awesome. Now we can go to the next step. Okay, next we're going to set the mineral coal at the production chain, coal mine to distributing. So let me jump out. Let me see if I can just do that manually over here. So we drop the materials off right here. We're going to just go right around here on the other side where that wrench is at. Over here by the dump truck. That's just a placeable. It's always there. And this is at the coal mine. Okay, so now we're going to go in here. At the coal mine. To extract mineral coal. We want to change outgoing mineral coal to distributing. Okay, got that distributing now. Next, we're going to add maintenance tools to the coal plant. So let's go back to the coal plant. First, we're going to pick up some more uh, maintenance tools, and we'll meet y'all back at the coal plant. All right, I'm almost here with you. You can't pick this up with just any vehicle. But this Volvo, this thing's got some strength. Just set this down here at the coal plant. There we go. One more step. Now we're going to set the electricity to distributing on the production chain at the coal plant. Can we do that right here, Wayne? Right around here at the ranch, yes, sir. Where'd you go? Right around here. Right, you keep sneaking right around here. me. <laughs> <laughs> we're okay. almost there we're gonna go right here go to the wrench you could probably go to production chains and do this too yes sir set electricity to distributing okay so we're at the coal plant and we're at the small coal plant small coal plant to produce electric charge our outgoing is electric charge we want that to be distributing so we're going to change it to distributing there we go that's it 
Every step you need to know. Now let's go down to the quarry. Now we're going to run some time by, and we're going to go down to the mine. We call it the quarry. We're going to go down to the mine, and we're going to get us a dump truck and get some coal. We'll be right back. Okay, so let me show you where we're at. We came back over here to the coal mine. Is this a coal plant? This is a small coal plant. Okay, we came back over here to the small coal plant. Came around here to the back. Went to the coal mine on here in the production chain. That's just what it's called here. Uh, went to the coal mine tab. It says to extract mineral coal. We changed that for mineral coal. We changed it to storing instead of distributing. So we're going to go back over. Well, actually, it's showing right there. It's showing right here. Now we have 48,696 liters of mineral coal after yeah, sleeping way, overnight again. You want to drive over here and check that out, Wayne? Yes, sir. Yeah, that way, if you actually want to go to the coal mine down in the quarry, we call it, to get some product to take to sell, you can actually do that if you have it where it's stored instead of distributing. Absolutely. And then, you, and then you can change it back to distributing whenever you want to uh, just convert it to energy. Or electric so we, energy so we have options totally however you want to operate whatever you're wanting to do you can change it up to suit your needs a lot of shadows down here in the coal mine this morning It's a little dark out here in the coal mine this early. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, 48,730 liters of coal. We have sand. We have dirt. We have stones. We have iron ore. Let's take all this mineral coal. Woo! Look at that, boy. It's beautiful, bro. I was missing the dump truck there for a minute. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful, y'all. Oh, yeah. I want to drive back over there and see that. See that in operation. Yes, sir. Old dump truck hauls quite a load. It hauls a load. We pull it okay. Uh, this truck doesn't go very fast going backwards, but it's pulling it fine. Look at this mine. Look at this mine in operation. Uh, I just think that's really cool. That's so cool. Looks like it's on tracks, like you could just get in it and drive with it. See over here? See that? Looks like it's on tracks. You can just get up in there, drive that. It looks like it. Very, very interesting. Let me get out, see if I can get a better look. How long has it been since you played King of the Mountain? <laughs> That's fascinating there. All right, there you go. How to video. How to mine out here at Evergreen Valley. We're about to uh, put together a series on Evergreen Valley of uh, farming, mining, logging. You can do it all right here. A lot to do in Evergreen Valley. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, sir. Did we look at that sign? Yeah, if you cut that down, it gets rid of all of these piles of uh, coal down here in the quarry. And plus, there's uh, supposed to be some kind of surprise down here if you uh, if you do that. Very interesting. Maybe we'll do that on another video. That's a good idea, Wayne.
All right, we're going to go on down out by the big coal mine and see about selling this load of coal. I'm not sure where to go, though. Yeah, we're going to take a left. We're going to take a left. Take a left here? Yes, sir. Take a left. Get to a road right there. Take a left. Back over the, the tracks. End. Yes, sir. Go to the end and take a right. We come up to a right right there. Kind of 45 degree right. And then just follow this road all the way around to the yes, end. Sir. And then you'll take another right when you get to the end. That's a big hill right there. Yes, sir. Oh, mercy, it is a pretty good incline, isn't it? Just keep on going, keep on going. Got a little ways to go still. Keep on going. Oh, it'd be fun. It'd be fun working some of these fields, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just follow this on around. Stay to the left. Stay to the left. And when you get to the end of this right here, the intersection, take a right. It's pretty drive. Yeah, it is. Woo! Long. That's a little bitty road. <laughs> it is. Mercy. Right. We're going to come up to a turn to the right right up here I wonder if this is a right. or if this is the only way to get out here no there are other ways there are other ways you can go stay around to the right I almost felt like I was back on snow runner I know right you're gonna come to a fork up here stay around to the left couple more little turns to make right up here you'll make a little right and a left I think right we need to get these left. I think we need to get these brakes worked on oh got a red light coming on on the dash when I hit my brakes and the brakes aren't working that great I guess because of this big load oh stay around to the left just keep following this road We're going to cross the tracks up here and take a left and go parallel to the tracks. And there'll be a cell point up there on the left. Cross the tracks here? Cross the tracks and take a left and go right parallel to the tracks. And you see that uh, silo over there right by the train tracks? Yes, sir. Do we, have to use the, going to. do we have to use the train for that silo? No, sir. I don't believe. We should be able to just pull right up there and sell it. I don't see a grate. Yeah, pull right past oh, the Oh, the grate's on the tracks. Right yes, sir. Just back right up over there. I'll pull up over either one. Okay, so this dump truck here won't dump out the back. It'll either do left or right. So we're going to dump out the right. Hope a train doesn't come while we're parked here. I'm watching. $33,737. dollars and now we can go back and set it back to distributing instead of storing. That's what we'll do. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all. We'll see y'all next time. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> we might, <laughs> might say all that again. I don't know where to go. I'm lost. You take a left. Take a left. Take a left. Then take a right. And I'll take a left. Go down past that carport looking thing. Go across the tracks over there at the road. All right. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Thank y'all so much for being here. We'll see y'all next time. Oh, yeah. And we jump it. And we jump it. Oh, we made it. <laughs> <laughs>